congratulations on the nominee and the, everything else. You must be delighted with the with the honours and being here at Newport it's Beach. It's lovely. It's a wonderful privilege for people to say thanks for doing what you do. Of course, incredible. And uh, obviously, Bombshell's come out, which you were, you were involved with. Yeah, when you fleeting in Bombshell, I just yeah. thought it was an important story to be part of, really. Yeah, a lot of people have said about the importance of it, and I know Charlize and Nicole have all come out and said about how important it was to shine a light on this. I know you've already got a bit part, but what was it about the script when you when you read it, and what the kind of impact that you hoped that the film would have? It tells the story, really, and I think it's just joining the conversation. You know, we're building a kind of world of information about the change we'd like to have and the things that have been wrong and how we'd like to fix them and telling the stories. Stories are vital. Stories are how we empathise and understand what needs to change. And so it's another one of the important stories. You know, there's girls from the morning show here tonight. That was another really important story. So it's telling the right stories. Yeah. And you've got your new TV show which you've been promoting and it's going to be coming out soon. Can you tell us a little bit about that and yes, what that's all about? That's Julian Fellows' follow-up to Downton Abbey, Belgravia, which we're, you know, pretty happy with. Obviously, Julian's brilliant and he wrote a brilliant script based on a novel. I play a character that I'm very proud of. She's a sort of woman ahead of her time and maybe there's a bit of scandal in there, but everyone loves scandal, so... Yeah. I just finally, I mean, obviously you did uh, the second Star Trek film, which was very polarising for, for some fans, but now there's talk of Tarantino maybe doing a Star Trek film, Simon Pegg doing it. I mean, are, they, do they, do you, are you still, because you're still part of the video games and all that kind of stuff, do they give you any input about maybe wherever you come back? I see Simon, I know there's discussions about it, but you know, there's that's an ever moving target. And Star Trek's expanded into, you know, Picard and they've got TV shows, so if people still care to live long and prosper in the cinema, then I'm sure they'll give them what they want. Yeah, we, we spoke to Patrick Stewart last week actually, and he was so excited to, to come back. To Patrick, to Patrick Stewart about Picard and he was saying about the impact Star Trek still has and how you know it talks about immigration and all the kind of things that in a sci-fi film are quite expensive is that something that you took from from your experience in Star Trek well it's definitely like a universal concept it's you know the good of the many over the good of the few so it's definitely like the belief in humanity and the belief in the whole which is a wonderful I mean Gene Roddenberry had a wonderful philosophy he also invented the iPad so yeah there was a lot of good stuff that came out of Star Trek it's kind of a universe that cared for and that intricately designed is you know worth spending time learning about. Yeah. And uh, just finally, there's a couple of icons being awarded tonight, Ian Holm and Richard E. Grant. Are you, are you fans of their work? And why do you think they are, they are such icons? Well, Richard's wife is Joan Washington, who is an amazing dialect coach. So I think they're both icons, in my opinion. <laughs> and uh, Ian Holm is Ian Holm. I mean, you know, uh, delivering entertainment across decades to people is no mean feat. And so it's lovely when people stop and say, no, we notice that you're doing it, because it takes a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!